everybody. We are going to start my, I'm gonna start with my lesson plan overview. This lesson plan is designed for urban high school. There are 45 students in the classroom. 20 students are early production, 23 are in the speech immersion, and two students are in the intermediate fluency. The topic that I'm gonna, uh, I designed in this lesson plan is reading about hot jobs in the 21st century. It is taken from the book uh, number two, and uh, it is in unit six, page 58. The phases for the lesson plan are activation, connection, and affirmation. Uh, two strategies are in this lesson plan, uh, the word drop and the you see me. The techniques are about the grouping configurations and also some other techniques about modeling, monitoring, and feedback. Uh, a lot of hands-on activities are designed for this lesson plan. In the complete lesson plan, we are going to develop the four language skills, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. Okay, we are going to start uh, this um, class um, in the activation stage. And for this, I'm going to ask you please to read some objectives. We are going, I'm going to demonstrate the, um, wor the word drop strategy, but just for the activation stage. We are going to develop uh, some vocabulary uh, for the demonstration. Here I have all the objectives for the complete lesson plan. Okay, students, we are going to start with the class. For starting with this class, I'm gonna put the um, objectives that we are going to develop. Remember that today we are going to start with unit six. We are going to start this unit. Okay, Silvana, can you help me please reading the content objectives? You can see, ah, oh, okay. Uh, who can help her? Okay, maybe you? Yes, content object, objectives. So we will learn about hot jobs for a 21st century to get a specific information about futuristic occupations. Okay, thank you. Um, the second objective, the language objective that we are going to develop today is the listening. Please, Viviana, help me read in the listening objective. We will listen to our partners, share predictions about a picture and the topic of a reading after we stand up and share. Okay, thank you. Another objective that we are going to develop is the speaking. Dalila, can you help me reading that? Yes. We will think, pair, and share new vocabulary from the reading. We will discuss about the article they have just for the 21st century to answer questions. We will discuss the question and record ideas using Cornell note taking techniques. Okay, but today we are going to develop just the first one, the ones we have with the tick. Okay? Now please, for this activity, we are going to use the word drops. Inside of these cards, you are going to receive the cloud, you are going to receive three drops, and a lightning. Okay? Everybody is going to work on this. Okay, I'm gonna share them to you. Okay, now please, can you read um, Ruben? 
the title? Of the of the 21st century. Okay, can you help me reading, please, Marta? Can you help me reading the first bubble? No, I'm done. It is fun. Okay, read the second bubble, please, Fanny. Oops, really? Yeah, okay. Now, please stand up, everybody. Come and make a circle in the middle of the classroom. Make a circle in the middle of the classroom. Is that okay? Do you have enough space? Okay. Make a circle. Number yourself, one, two. One, two. No, one, two, uh, please. One, two. 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 Okay, now please, number two inside of the circle. Number two, make another circle inside. Okay. Face your number ones. Face your number ones. Turn around, face number one. Face one student. Move. Face one person. You have to face one person. Face one. Face one. Okay. Now, please, you're going to make a prediction. What are you going to read? Share with your partner about your predictions about the picture and about the title. What do you think you're going to read about? Yes. Start number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's Okay, thank you students. Now listen to me. A students, number one, move one step to your left. Number one, the circle that is outside. One step to your left. Now you have another partner. Share your predictions with your partner. Predictions about the picture and about the title. Okay, thank you students. One more time. One step to your left. Okay, now you have another partner. Share with your partner. <laughs> okay, thank you students, good idea, so now, go to your seats please. <laughs> Now, open your, look at your cards. Find this card. This is a lightning. Here you have topic. Individually, write a topic in this part. What is the topic of the lesson? Hatch ups of the 21st century. Here, write please all ideas, all predictions that you have, your friend and your friends have about this title. What ideas you get in your groups, in, with your partner, working with your partner? If you want, excuse me? In the same Yeah, inside, yes. If you don't remember the word, you can draw a picture inside, okay? Words, pictures. Okay, ready? Okay, please, now we are going to share. Tell me, Freddy, what ideas do you have there? Uh, it's, the, it's about activity that people do outside. Okay, thank you. Mario, tell me another idea. Um, I think it's about uh, risky jobs. Risky jobs, yeah, maybe, probably. Okay, tell me, um, free song. Okay. This is related to venue jobs. Yeah, 
Maybe. Okay. How about you, Dalila? Um, it's involved a lot of money. A lot of money there. Yeah, maybe. Why not? We are going to have that. Okay, tell me, Patricia, what ideas do you have? There? It's about with salaries. Yeah, with good salaries. Okay, you all, you, all of your ideas are right. We are going to learn about some jobs that people are expected to work in the future. They are future occupations. Here you have something that is, react, uh, is related to actors. Okay? Now, please. In your car, we have, hmm, we are going to learn some vocabulary about this uh, reading, the reading that we are going to uh, read uh, tomorrow. Vocabulary, these words you are going to find in the reading. Okay, repeat after me, please, students. Repairman. Futuristic. Futuristic. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Handyman. Handyman. Strap. 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 Danger. Danger. Awesome. Awesome. Hot job. Hot job. Okay, well done. Okay, before moving, we are going to work on another interesting thing. You have three drops, okay? See your cards, you have three drops. Three drops. They are different color, okay? And also they have numbers. We are going to work with the pink color. Pink color. In the pink color, what we are going to do is to write a, uh, the meaning of the first word. Write the meaning of the first word. Make a prediction. Yeah? Make a picture if you want. Make a picture if you want. Any word, phrase, or sentence about it? Yeah, you can write a sentence maybe if you know the meaning of the word. Repairment. Okay. Ready? Are you ready, guys? Yes. Okay. Take this card. Okay, this is the cloud. Okay. Here you have a circle. In the circle, write the word. What word? We are going to develop the first one. Repair. Write that, please, here in this space. OK? Are you ready? OK, you are good, guys. Now, please take these three drops. Take your pencil, too. Take your pencil with you. OK. Pay attention to my instruction. Take the pink drop. Here, what do you have in this pink drop, Ruben? Uh, we have to put the meaning. Yeah, you have the meaning. What number do you have, Ruben? I have number three. Number three. Who else have number, th number three? No, okay, Ruben, she's your partner. Everybody stand up and look for your partner according to the number. Pink, just the pink. Stand up, please, stand up. Say about the number if you want. Number two, where is number two? Number three, four, five, Paola. Lady, number six, who's number six? Number nine. Number nine. Who else is number nine? What well, number do you have? Um, okay, you have number eight. Okay, what number do you have? Okay, now share your predictions. Share your predictions. I have to make something. Okay, share with your partner. Read the meaning of the word. Okay. Ready with the prediction? Yes. Okay. Now take your green drop. Your green drop. In the green drop, please write your partner's prediction. What did he say? Okay. 
Yeah, the partner prediction, the same. Yes, you're gonna write your, the prediction of your partner. She's gonna write the prediction of you. Okay. Ready? Okay, now please, you have the yellow card. Okay, the, and you have a number in the green card. Stand up, please, look for the number of your card, the green one. There are three people with that number. Make a group. Hurry up, guys, hurry up. Okay, no, in the green, please, ready. In the green, in the green. According to the green, from the breeze, the green, number one, score number one, number three, number two, three people in each group. Okay, six, zero, three people in each group. Okay, now share with, the, with your group, share the meaning of them, or with your group. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Now please pay attention to me, students, in your groups. We are going to. We are going to work on the definitions of the words. But for the definitions, we are going to work tomorrow. Okay. This is the first part that we are going to work today, and we are going to do the same in all, with all of the words, okay? Keep your cards in your folder, please, then you're gonna put in the portfolio, okay? Thank you, students. Class finished. Ah, okay, tomorrow we will have more. <laughs> You're not coming tomorrow, Freddy? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna suffer. Oh, really? Okay, now please. Um, I'm gonna share some reflections about the strategies that I have learned here. Culturally, biography-driven strategies make teaching dynamic. The objectives are achievable. Cooperative learning can be in the whole process. The students build their own knowledge and also the teacher is a guide. We have the development of the four language skills. So this is very significant to learn about these strategies. Some aha moments, something interesting that I have learned here is <coughs> about the biographies and about the prior knowledge. This is very important to have in our classes. Wise management of teaching learning strategies makes successful learners. We have to know about the strategies and how they work in the classroom. Finally, I can say that I have grown in this uh, Go Teacher program. I grew personally because I had some previous ideas about myself. The first one was that uh, I focus most on the negative things that people have or students have, but now I change my mind. I learn to focus most on the positive things that the people have. Professionally, I learn a lot of strategies to give students variety in the classroom and to help them to learn language for communication. And the last thing that I can say that is the, it's about the affective filter that it is so popular in this Go Teacher program. <laughs> keep to keep the affective filter low is something significant that we have to do. And here I learned doing. My professor Doretta helped us to understand what is to keep the affective filter low and how positive is it to have in our classroom. Thank you, students.